Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Nevada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. If you like the way we on, you can subscribe to our Patreon, Vada Fly. Yo, I got a couple things I want to talk about. Some could have been their own blog by themselves as I break down every round that I've sketched about, but it's just so much I just figured. Let's just go all in and throw it all in, you know what I'm saying? This is just my unpopular opinion about a lot of things. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Let's start with Zion. Zion, what the? Zion Williamson. <laughs> now, we already knew you was green like some cabbage, you know, lettuce ahead. All we want to know is why are you giving away generational wealth and lettuce for head? Like, bruh, do you see what you got going on? No, 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 no. Oh, bruh, stop saying this shit in my phone. Cause I ain't believing this shit here. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm reading this shit right on. <laughs> motherfucker that sent to my phone, the message that <laughs> flow not that right now, motherfucker say, when you move, how much <laughs> do you expect? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. When you move, <laughs> how much do you expect me to pay you a month? But I'm super excited. Keep sending this shit in my phone. Y'all ain't finna make me believe no nigga would even do no shit like that, bro. <laughs> I ain't believing this shit, bro. <laughs> I ain't believing no shit like that. Dog ain't going like I know I bro, I don't give a fuck what y'all trying to get me to believe. I ain't believing no shit like that, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, ain't a bitch ain't bitch, I'm not no bitch <laughs> a bitch that catfishing. <laughs> bro, I ain't do no shit like this. I know he did. Not the motherfucker that won the motherfucker. The Mac, the Mike Donald, uh, all American slam dunkers. Eh? Ain't nobody did no shit like this, man. Man, that man went to motherfucking Duke, man. Motherfucking Duke University, man. Ain't no motherfucker did motherfucker. Bro, every motherfucker go to Duke smart, man. Ain't nobody did that, man. Y'all here. Y'all ain't making me believe. <laughs> he said, I'm so excited. <laughs> Mariah Mills, <laughs> sorry, tell them, no, tell these folks who she is, if you know about the industry, I ain't even know she like black people, I ain't know, what, Zion, no fucking that way, kind bro. of money, Boy, ain't no you, way, I knew something was up when you Boy, played no 20 way, games bro. one season, no games the next season, and 29 games this season, I knew something was slowing you down. It's them hoes, it's them hoes, it's them hoes. He needs some big homies around. He needs somebody around that's gonna help guide this man. You couldn't go get somebody that work at Target or Amazon or Walmart. Like, yeah. you trusted people who have sex with strangers on camera to keep a secret? Bruh. And then you got one of them pre- oh. <laughs> She give me money when I'm in need. You gonna find out, see my daughter's 14, right? Well, she's gonna be 14 in August, I, you know, she's closer to it. And 18 years is a long time, is all I'm gonna say. 18 years with a baby mama is a long, long time. Just like I seen, uh, and you bugging for that, so you, you need to get it together. Like you and John Moran, I don't know what y'all doing for South Carolina. Guns and buns, guns and buns. Y'all need to figure it out. Uh, then why have been Lucci? Offered 17 years, bro, that's a long time in jail. Man is 32, he wouldn't get out until he is 
damn near 50, 49. And then if he doesn't take the plea, he's got to face 40. You got yourself in a bad position, my boy. I'm going to just leave that alone. Now, oh, man, man, man. Battle rap, battle rap. Where do we start? So, easy, uh, you know, doing this thing. He's got a movie premiere for a movie. He's in Detroit right now. I spoke to him this morning. Uh, I want to start with... Uh, a battle off the trenches card. I said the trenches was dope and I liked the event even though it was only four battles due to the camouflage sabotage in the battle blogs. Uh, K Walker versus Riggs. Bro, this battle right here is phenomenal. Like, two arms, this shit too much to hold. Phone fire, phone wire, up the pole. Go, fuck the hoes. I love the bros, but like Tim's on the hockey stand, I can't trust the soul. Go, 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 go. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 9 out of 10. This is a very, very good battle. I went out the way and said this morning, I think it's one of the top 15 battles of 2023. I, your opinion about my opinion does not change my opinion. We're going to start there. Bro, Riggs is fire. K. Walker is fire. I've seen Walker a couple times. I had met him at Tay Rock's event when he, um, I had seen him before too, but like the passion and hunger that he has and the way he represents Philly, Yo, I can't represent. He said, I got to play. He said, I can't turn my back on the trenches. I ain't Danny Myers. Crowd starts going crazy. He's dumping in his first round. Riggs comes out in his first round. He has a serviceable first round. You know, it was pretty good. I'm not going to hold you, but I had K. Walker clearly win in the first round. I could just skip right to the third. Yo, this man Riggs lost his mind in the third round. I was shocked. Now, me and Riggs was not always on good terms, you know what I'm saying? He said shit about me, I said shit about him. Not as far as, like, I don't ever talk about nobody outside of battle rap. But I made a decision on a battle that I felt he lost every round in. And I was, you know, talking my talk, you know, a <laughs> little, little spice for the rice. And, you know, we, we was not good like that, you know what I'm saying? But he met SP at Summer Madness, you know what I'm saying? And we, he spoke and they spoke. And we good, everything's good now. And we actually follow each other on Twitter. This is the second person that I wasn't good with. Big K was one. I got blocked by Big, unblocked by Big K. I should literally go in the Hall of Fame, if anything, for that. We good now, and I'm good with Riggs. So I don't even got no ops. Who's my? I don't got no. I don't even call them ops. That's weird as shit. Battle rap. I don't even got no battle rap ops. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So um, Riggs is phenomenal, man. Like I got this 4K for 4K. Get 4K. Do I need to get more vivid? Like he was wild. Then he did the. Tobias, Tucker, Maxi, Hart, like he did that scheme in the first day, he did the rewind and then flipped it, yo. Easy. Riggs, next card. Next card, Riggs. Riggs, next card. Ne Riggs must be on the next card. I, I, I don't care what you do. K. Walker obviously is a staple in the city. Uh, he's doing his numbers. Uh, I told him earlier, uh, I had to shed more light on this battle. I want y'all opinions about K. Walker versus Riggs in the comment if you saw the battle. If not, you're going to have to see it when it drops. They are dropping on Chrome 23. Easy did um, announce that. Uh, but overall, that, <laughs> them boys was wild, man. I knew K. Walker was dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm, right now. Right. I'm a dog walker while walking a dog on walk. Is that a contradiction, though? Right. I schooled a young bull with these two traits. I'm on my pippin' flow. Mm -hmm. It's like an RK. I put it dead in his face like a 4K. This 4K is 4K. Mm -hmm. How can I make it more vivid, though? Oh! Right, 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 right. No, no, no. But this performance right here makes me say, you are what the hell? What the hell did y'all have going on that you couldn't figure out a situation for this man? Because he is dead fire. But it is what it is. I seen Riggs online going off wilding on um the cats over there. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it alone today. I'm gonna be in the I'm not even gonna do it. Yeah, I thought I was, I'm not even gonna do it. Let's just keep it moving. Um goods. Goods, goods, goods. What do you got going on? I see you doing more blogging and stuff nowadays. Salute to the blogging. I seen you talking about the Tay Rock and Easy joint. And then you said the bloggers are compromised. Now, I gotta stop there. I'm in the fraternity of them, regardless of whether we all cool, whether we not cool, whether this one's cool, whether that one's cool. When you do stuff like that, you gotta kinda put an address on it, like this blogger or that blogger. When you say bloggers are compromised, it's like, bro, we the ones that's really calling out the bullshit in the game. We the ones that's going in on the artists being on these uh, 360 eight year crazy deals. We the ones that's going in, we are the ones. Regardless of whether it may be one or all, but bro, the bloggers are really the ones. When battle rap, when battle rap has not got an event or some shit popping where the stars are the stars and the stars are aligning and all of the big numbers, 
The guys that are down there every day grinding, no matter if they get along or not. The dudes doing the interviews, the spaces, the this, the that, the that. We don't have to get along, but they are pretty much continuing to keep the wheel moving. So he said they're compromised. Like, compromise how? Like, <laughs> like I understand that y'all big boys in the battle rap game, but when it comes to the media and the views down here, like, we do the numbers. Like, we are the ones that's doing 10,000, 15,000, 25,000, 30,000 on talking about battle rap. Y'all not doing those numbers, no hate or nothing, but y'all doing all right, but y'all not doing that. Easy is, easy is the algorithm right now. So he's doing interviews, of course they doing numbers, but people that's individually blogging, you're not. <laughs> you're not. So if we're so compromised, like how are we compromising? Everybody's coming here to see what we got to say. Y'all been in the game forever and ever and ever, but if something drops and I talk about it and y'all talk about it, we know who they're going to see. We know who they gonna see. I'm from the Bronx, so I'm gonna leave it there. Like, you gotta put an address on that when you talk about people being compromised because people hit me up like, oh, he said y'all this, he said y'all that. What? Nigga, what? I holla at you, man. Like, come on, bro. Call them niggas out. Call them out. This is what we in. This is the game we in right now, bro. We can talk about it, though. That's my guy, man. You know what I'm saying? You still invited to TV. You in clips, too. Y'all still in. Y'all in fight. You are invited. Come on down, nigga. We can have y'all up there. We can have a good old fucking time. So shout out to my boy Goods, but uh-uh, we can't just say bloggers are compromised like a blanket statement and put that over everyone. Because I will say if Rock lost, I will say if Easy's not in the right, I will say if uh, Clips ain't doing good. I'll say whatever. I don't care. I don't spare no MC. None. The nigga lose, they lose. Fuck that. League not doing good, they not doing good. Fuck that. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Not on you know what I'm saying? Ain't scared of none of these MCs, none of these leagues. That's what got me where I'm at. Talking that shit about whoever. Don't matter. League don't do good, whatever. Somebody recycles what it doesn't matter. We ain't never that mad. Shirts coming soon. Like we never that mad, bro. We gonna call it like it is. That's why they watch. That's why they wanna see what our opinion is about some shit. We could all coexist, but you can't come in the game and say bloggers are compromised while shooting a blog. Nigga, you're blogging too. You know what I'm saying? Like I fuck, and I fucks with him, but I heard and I saw it and I was like, ah, ah, like ah. Uh, it's too close to home. It's not at my address, but you, it flew past my house, man. I live here. I eat here. I hustle here. You hustle, I hustle too. This is my trap. This is where I work at. This is my work environment. I took the streets to corporate America, big baby. I can't let you say we are like that. I rock with you. Trust me, I do, but eh. I was like, eh. Uh, URL, yeah. Uh, URL, URL, UR. Where is my, yo, yo. I watched two band battles like Chess and Tink, it's, uh, okay. But J Mills versus Cortez, bro, you cannot hate someone enough to be booking J. J Mills is not good, bro. You know how many people out here is would, would give their right arm to be on a big platform like URL or be getting that look or that notoriety? Y'all could have handled Riggs better than that. I would have rather seen Riggs versus Tink the Demon or Riggs versus Cortez. Why is J Mills up there? He's not good. Do you hate RBE that much that you must book him? Because trust me, yo, he went the whole battle and probably had two crowd reactions. Three rounds, two crowd reactions. And then you got him up there hosting. Like, bro, you hate this man that much? Trust me, ARP is not losing no sleep over J Mills. I wouldn't be. <laughs> fix that. Y'all got to fix that. I'm sorry. I, I got to call it like I call it. This nigga is not good. He was using correspondent where correspond in 2023 correlation core. You know how many times I heard that versus? Do you know how many times I heard that versus Cortez, my nigga? What are we doing here? Why is this happening? This should not be happening. Why is this in my algorithm? Come on now, I, I can't. I cannot. Like, bro, did you see what happened on the trenches? And this is what you're giving us? Like, come to like, and then the people that's bagging it, authentic. I heard you going in on easy to block cap. Pump your brakes, dog. Like, I saw one battle of yours. I saw the Jack Boy main versus you, you that one. I liked what you did in that one. I saw you versus Cortez. I had Cortez winning. I mean, I, Trez. Trez, Tez, same shit. Sound like. Trez. And Trez beat you. You, your interview with hip hop is, I mean, yeah, hip hop is real, bro. Like, that ain't it. That is not it, bro. You up there talking like like you the big wave and like you, you sound like surf, but it's not surf. Like, oh, you know, it's big URL and yeah, bro, they not, you not there yet, my dog. Like, you got mad work to do. You not past where Kid Slay was. You not past where Swan. I'm not looking at you like that. I'm so, I don't care. It is, you are not there. And I ain't hate. I'm from New York too. You are not there. 
you might want to worry about that level where the sagas, the riders of the world, the niggas who stay that pushing like you, you, you got to worry about getting past that. Not no K-Shine A K-Shine comeback, a K- Nigga, are you fucking, yo. This nigga said, K-Shine's comeback. And he was talking about battling cow? Bro, like what are they feeding you niggas over there, bro? On these, <laughs> what? <laughs> Every single comment under the video was like, who is this? Who is this guy? I don't even know who he is. <laughs> One nigga said P walked in the locker room with $150 and said, who want to go try to get Easy's attention? Then Easy got back on his live stream yesterday and was like, nigga, you are nobody. You're not booked. You're not on no big cards. You ain't got no, I never even seen a battle of yours. <laughs> I saw it because this is what I do. But please don't put these niggas in position like this because no way. What? I'm listening to him talking. I'm like, yo, who is gassing this nigga? He had one good performance. Like, <laughs> one? Oh my goodness. I should start battling if all I need is one performance. I ain't see, nigga, we don't be watching no crucible battles, nigga. But we don't watch that shit. We don't. I'm sorry. We're not watching it. We're not. No. We want to make it out first. We watch a tournament. We're not watching no rookie battles. <laughs> Yo, bro, I, I'm sorry, man. I, I had to tell you that, man. And, and it's me. I'm a nobody. You know what I'm saying? Please don't get emotional. Don't start no shit. Nah, I, I don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? I'm just calling it like the niggas who work at Amazon, the truck drivers, the construction workers, the niggas in the barbershop, the, the, the people on the court. I'm calling it like I'm calling it like the streets is going to call it. If I put your name next to Easy, next to Kayshawn, next to Calico, next to all these battle rappers you talked about, even Show Off, you're not. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I don't know. I'm going to just, I, I'm going to let it go. It is what, y'all do what y'all want. But it had to be said. You said it, so, you know, my opinion about your opinion shouldn't matter if it's not the same. Tay Rock. Salute to Tay Rock and everything he's got going on. Uh, I, I told you guys yesterday he responded to the fact about battling easy and how it could only happen on URL, etc., etc., etc. But someone who did step up was Real Deal. You know, Rock said he would battle Reed or Kaboom on the trenches, and then e Real jumped in there and said, uh, you know, you don't have to do a rematch. I'll see you in PA myself. I was like, oh, hey, ho, 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 real mother deal. Go ahead then. You know what I'm saying? It's a real deal. He jumps in there and he puts his, he puts his, he puts his thoughts in the, in the game. So Rock quickly accepts. I was like, oh shit, let's go. So Rock says, I'm building my own car with real deal if he accepts my challenge. I said, oh shit. I said, oh. He was dosing them. In the back of my mind, I started coaching them. Real to the left, the kids outside. I started approaching them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, get him. So, he, so real deal takes a little bit of time to respond. So Rock, you know Rock, he's you know he's doing what he's doing. But real deal is a teacher. He said that before. He's professed it. I love the fact that he's doing what he's doing for the children of America, and he's a battle rap at the same time. He just won on the trenches car, and I've always respected real deal. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to his father. I respect his grind for that too, and I've always had a whole lot of respect for what he does. Real deal to me, I say. I'm like Real Deal is one of the greats. That's just me. People say, oh, he's not no legend. I get it, man, but you don't have to be a superstar big name to be legendary. When you do legendary things, it makes you that way. When I see somebody that's giving their time, teaching the kids in the community, still battle rapping, raising his child, put, or putting on for his father's legacy, that's legendary to me. Who's a legend to me don't got to be a legend to you. You might not understand it. You know, cool with Pat State, always showed love. I got to always, I got to rock with that. His battle versus uh, Oops. Like, you don't gotta be the big stage superstar in every single um, capacity of life to be a star to me. Real Deal is a star. And I'm glad that Rock accepted the challenge. And Real Deal says, I was in the middle of teaching fifth and sixth base Matt all game, and it was heated. Yes, we're still good in school for three days. And yes, I will kick your at in the city and card of your choosing. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go, let's go. I like that. I know some of y'all might be like, oh, I don't like it, I don't like it, blah, 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 blah. No, I do. Um, obviously, it probably, it probably would not happen on the trenches. I would like it to happen there because Dill just showed off um, versus Doug DeFino on trench, so I would like it there. But I know the politics and all of the bullshit that's involved. And, ah, 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 hit the Glock. Everybody's a fucking out in battle rap. 
when it's just people that are business owners trying to make money. So I don't know if it could happen there, but would I like to see it happen? Yes. And, uh, you know, Rock, Rock had to reply and say, you quiet now, what we doing? I ain't going to ask again. Rock does has to have his own league. Uh, no Entourage. It's in uh, Philly. I actually went to his first event, you know what I'm saying, where Ace I mean battle top floor of Lou. And there were some other battles on there, you know what I'm saying? Just in the city, I just went to show love. And I would have went to Easy's Trenches joint, but I was uh, busy making history. So, you know, if I wasn't there, I would have uh, I would have showed up for him because I loved what he was doing. But, uh, yeah, man, there's just so much going on in Battle Rap. We're just going to throw all of this in. Oh, fuck. Reed. <laughs> Rambo Reed, man. That's the, that's the last part, man. That's the last part. I hope you got this far. Um, Reed, 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 Reed. Bro, I understand that you thinking from street terms when it comes to ARP, but ARP booked you. You were supposed to do a battle. You couldn't do it for whatever reason. I understand you in jail and stuff like you was in jail. You had to pay fines. You wanted to give them the money back. I see this. The, when ARP says the fans that were invested in all of that, I, that's, that we can, we can, to me, I can wipe that off the table. I, I, I don't know how many fans, when you buy a ticket, it doesn't say, who are you buying a ticket for? And you press the person's name on it, so I really can't tell that. So I can't quantify or deduct what that is, is what that is. But what I can say is, if a man cops your flight, your hotel, your, you know what I'm saying, your, your back, your front end, or whatever the case may be, all of that must be taken into consideration. If you just want to give me back my deposit, no, I need everything back. If I'm copping a hotel and then the other MC, if I booked his flight and his hotel and you just trying to give me my deposit back, what about all this other money? Flights is $300 a piece. Your flight, his flight, $600. Hotel is $150 a piece. $300, $300, $300, $300. So you got uh, $369. Nah, that's $1,200 right there. Just wasted in getting people here in flights and hotels. And you just trying to give me back a $1,000 deposit? I can see why he's mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I want my battle. I don't want, I want what I paid for. Let's wage war for what I paid for. But I said, wage war, pay for. But if you pay for what you wage war, would you wage war for what you pay for? Oh, okay. I think the game's off. I might write down that. I've recorded it, so I'll, you know, wage war for what they paid for. But ARP's trying to wage war for what he paid for. What are you, what are you talking about a 2,500 pack? No, nigga, this is not the streets. This is not, <laughs> we clearly know battle rap is not the streets. Niggas is in court. They doing cases, they pulling out paperwork, they sending text messages. They, they, this is not the streets anymore. Battle rap is not the streets anymore. They doing everything that niggas in the streets would not do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when people tell me, oh, God, how do you deal with this? Or how do you deal with the hate going to TV? There's no comment section on TV. I told y'all before, it doesn't matter. Like, you can't write on, you can write on your wall under your TV how you feel about me. But other than that, I really wouldn't care. So, uh, read, I mean... I see where ARP is coming from. I'm not going down you or do all of this extra shit on you, but I'm like, come on, dog. You got to see something. At least know that, dog. This is a situation you created. It's not his fault you got arrested. It has not, he has nothing to do with that. Nothing. You getting yourself arrested is your business. I booked you to be here on set date. You agreed to be here and wouldn't. Let's stop there. So shout out to Reed. Shout out to everybody that watches this content. Uh, shout out to Showtime SP, the subscribers. Shout out to Zion Williams. Golly, my nigga, you need some motherfucking help. Guns and buns, guns and buns. Golly, boy. Nigga, play. Hey, Nas, pussy kill me. You got to need uh, Zion needs to listen to Nas, pussy kill me. Y'all enjoy y'all weekend. Um, the face-offs is today, I mean, I don't really, I'm not watching them or nothing. Like, I don't really care, but I'm just letting you guys know, I guess, uh, the double impact face-offs is today at some time, and, you know, it is what it is. Gang.